It's become a strange tradition of South Australian budgets for the Treasurer to be asked what the year's offering would look like if it was a person. It's 500 pages of pretty dense financial information. It's hard to personify it, isn't it? Um, but to the extent that we can, you know, I think we put it on the front cover. It's a South Australian in a green uniform. There's a reason why Labor's first budget is all about delivering on election promises, most of which centred on health, new doctors, nurses and paramedics. Health will get even more than anticipated, with the government spending hundreds of millions more on its COVID response and in winding back future savings targets. In total, this budget will be supporting an additional 554 beds across the health system, which is a remarkable expansion of capacity in a four-year period. The good news for the Treasurer is a post-pandemic economic bounce means he won't have to look as hard to work out how to pay for it. SA is getting almost a billion dollars more in GST than expected, and even more in state taxes, especially stamp duty. That means the government can continue to promise budget surpluses for the next four years, even though this year's deficit has blown out to $1.7 billion. Debt is expected to balloon to a record $34 billion, but a fraction more slowly than expected by the former government. And higher interest rates mean we'll soon be paying more than a billion dollars a year to service it. We are returning the budget to surplus. We are improving our debt metrics. We are making sure that we stay true to the commitment that we made throughout the election campaign, that there are no new taxes in this budget. Of course, there is some pain. Some government departments have been ordered to slash their budgets by 1.7%. And the government's turfed a heap of spending, promised by its Liberal predecessor. Instead of applying a blanket efficiency dividend, we have done some of the hard work up front and identified government programs that are not priorities for this government, uh, which were priorities for the previous government. That includes subsidies for batteries big and small, solar systems and electric car charges. The new government instead making its renewable energy focus a $600 million hydrogen power plant near Wyala. All this new spending doesn't mean life will be easier for households, with inflation set to grow from 4 to 5 per cent next year. And that will be a risk for the government too. It'll be under pressure to stump up for pay rises for doctors, nurses, teachers and other public servants who are set to begin negotiating new wage deals.